This is Billionaire Mondays. Every Monday, we present you with another billionaire. Today, we're looking at 15 Things You Didn't Know About Bill Ackman. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. Today, we're going to learn how to make money from one of the smartest investors, Bill Ackman. He's the founder of hedge fund Pershing Square Capital Management and is currently managing over $8 billion. Bill Ackman, or by his full name, William Albert Ackman, went to Harvard, where he studied arts and then got an MBA. Later on, Bill started his journey into investing by starting a company with a fellow Harvard colleague, and later in 2003, with the money he previously made, he started his own hedge fund. His investing career and strategy has been discussed and criticized a lot over the years. Bill Ackman was actively involved in feuds with big companies like Herbalife and Chipotle. Nowadays, he manages a fund worth billions of dollars and still makes smart moves business-wise. He's looked over by many in this industry, and he's also a big philanthropist. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Since he's involved in so many companies and controversies, we're going to have a look at his life, his career, and strategy to see what we can learn and what we don't know about Bill Ackman. Number 1. There is a Netflix documentary film about him. It looks like Bill Ackman sort of made it to the silver screen, not because of his looks or talent, but because of his investing career. The documentary about him is called Betting on Zero and follows his life after he made the billion dollar bet against Herbalife. It's centered around all the events that happened during 2012 and 2016, how it all started, how Bill acted, how he used his influence, how Ponzi schemes or pyramid schemes work, and how to avoid getting stuck in one. The 2016 movie is currently rated 7.2 on IMDb, and it's 1 hour and 39 minutes long if you'd like to make the time investment. Number 2. He's now engaged to Brad Pitt's former crush. Bill's personal life hasn't been on the media too much. He made sure that his professional life and his personal beliefs wouldn't let any room for family drama. His 23-year marriage with Karen Herskovitz ended in 2017, and rumors of a new engagement are flying around everywhere. At 52 years old, Bill is now apparently engaged to Neri Oxman, an American-Israeli architect, designer, and professor at the MIT Media Lab. She's been courted previously by Brad Pitt, but nothing came out of that because she was already involved with Bill. Looks like Brad Pitt may have lost his mojo with women. Number 3. His hedge fund invested $900 million in Starbucks stocks. When it comes to investing, there are a few index groups or stocks that can significantly double or triple the money you invest. This happens over the course of a few years, but you have to know the market and where to dive in with your money. Recently, Bill Ackman announced his hedge fund invested $900 million in Starbucks Corp. He believes the coffee chain is still able to maintain its position and grow due to their expansion in China. Although Starbucks struggled a little with sales in the last two years, they're still number one and a beloved brand. Number 4. He donated roughly $400 million to charity. Bill Ackman's fortune has fluctuated through the years, but one thing has remained pretty consistent – his philanthropic actions. His giving doesn't come anywhere close to that of Bill Gates, for example, but he has donated over $400 million so far to various causes. Last year alone, Bill sold his stocks in Nike and Chipotle, making a profit of roughly $501 million, so he's definitely had enough to donate. Bill is also an avid Democratic supporter, funding presidential campaigns and the party. He also endorsed Michael Bloomberg as a prospective candidate for the 2016 presidential election. Number 5. His net worth is estimated to be around $1.1 billion. 
Through the years, Bill Ackman's fortune has been up and down a few times. The scandals and good investments have helped him to secure his assets over and over again. He's currently estimated to be worth roughly $1.1 billion. 2018 has been good to Bill as well. He sold a few stocks and got some $500 million just from that. He also has a book written and a new relationship. Bill is only 52 years old, and it seems that he and his fund are on a rise to more fame and more money. Number 6. He lost half of his money due to the Herbalife critique. One of the worst times of his career was when he publicly criticized Herbalife for hiding under the MLM strategy as a Ponzi scheme. His ongoing vendetta with the corporation led to a significant loss of his fortune and stocks. It took years to settle the entire situation, and at times it got really bad. Sources say that Herbalife had a secret dossier on Bill. The entire scandal caused severe damage to both parties, and in the end, Bill decided to let it go, after his reputation was dragged through the mud. In the last year, he managed to rise up again, and it seems that people have forgotten about the matter almost entirely. Number 7. His wife got a nine-figure settlement after the divorce. Because when it rains, it pours, Bill's divorce from his wife wasn't so easy as he would have liked. Because his net worth is fluctuating, his wife could have gotten around $800 million out of the divorce because his net worth in 2016 was approximately $1.65 billion. Depending on when the divorce settled, she got more or less money, but still a nine-figure amount. He even sold one of the estates to her for $15 million, as property records show. After an expensive divorce, he's still left with some million-dollar properties and hedge funds that are doing well enough these days to make him even more money. Number 8. He laid off his driver and other employees after a few tough years, where his fund was losing money and his reputation was at risk, Bill entered 2018 with a few personal cuts. He laid off 18% of the hedge fund employees and his personal driver. Since 2015, his hedge fund had been losing approximately 20% after a failed investment in Valent Pharmaceuticals, which cost the fund roughly $4 billion. Since the Herbalife scandal, Bill is now focusing more on investing and less on promotional activities. Number 9. He loves tennis and is friends with Andre Agassi. They say that friendship and business don't mix well together, but for Bill Ackman and Andre Agassi, the famous tennis player, seems to be the exact opposite. They met over the love of tennis and started doing business together in 2011 when Agassi pitched his charity project. He convinced Ackman to invest $10 million into new tennis courts for children living in the Bronx and Detroit areas. Agassi promised Ackman a return of investment of double digits, and he did. He invested over $20 million so far in charter schools and got back a few in return. An easy way to make money and a donation all at the same time. Number 10. He owns a majority stake in a Philly luxury complex. As a billionaire and investor, Bill knows that one of the best ways to store your extra money is in real estate. He's a luxury landlord to a 625-unit luxury complex of apartments in Philadelphia, which he bought with the Prestronk brothers, worth about $178 million. He's also planning to buy a Central Park property in New York, worth $22.5 million. On his real estate list is also a Manhattan penthouse he bought a few years ago, worth $91.5 million, something he called a fun investment. Other estates include a Beresford duplex he bought for $26 million, a Soho penthouse worth $5.5 million, another apartment on West Broadway that he bought for $17 million, and another $22 million tennis court beachfront house and a Bridge Lane property he bought for $23.5 million. And Aluxers, this is nothing. If you want to see some more American luxury homes, we have the perfect video for you. Our top 10 most expensive homes in America. Just click in the top right corner to check it out.
Number 11. For $10,000, you can have lunch with Bill Ackman. If someone offered you the chance to have dinner or lunch with a very smart and influential person, who would you choose? Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, or Bill Ackman? Bill is now available for a few lunch meetings with some lucky people that are smart enough to bid on his charity card. The bidding for the big prize started back in October at $2,000 and went up to $11,000 pretty quickly. The lunch was planned for Maria Restaurant in New York City, and all the proceeds from the bidding will go toward talented teenagers that want a career in cinematography. So it's all for a good cause, and for the lucky one, a good chat, too. Number 12. He has a personal nutritionist and a PT. Not only celebrities call for help when their lifestyle becomes hectic. Billionaires are also very concerned about their weight and looks, not to mention their health, and they also hire professionals to help maintain it. Bill Ackman has a nutritionist that helps him make better food choices and a personal trainer to help him keep a fit figure at 50 plus. He doesn't eat dairy or drink coffee, which is funny considering he recently invented millions of dollars in Starbucks. Maybe he wants to live healthy and long enough in order to beat Warren Buffett's investment record. You never know. Number 13. He gives unsolicited advice to random people on the street. It seems that Bill Ackman is not the guy everyone loves to have over. He's more of the smarty pants kind of guy that feels the need to give unsolicited advice to everyone, including random people on the street. Even journalists and friends have complained that he suffers from fixer syndrome. This means he wants to sort everything out, including other people's lives. It does even go further. Apparently, he and his wife would organize small parties at their million-dollar penthouse where they would fix up couples. From these parties, four marriages flourished. Looks like Bill could help you out with anything in your life. Number 14. Bill joined Twitter in 2017 for the first time. Social media and rich people go pretty well hand in hand. It's a way for them to brag about new luxury cars or charity. But some are late to the social media party, but in the end, they all give in and make a Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter account, or all of the above. Bill Ackman was very late to the Twitter party. He made an account in 2017 because he thought it was unfitted for him and his business. Of course, he used the platform to promote his clients. Back then, Chipotle, that was recovering after an E. coli scandal. I guess he could have used some social media with Herbalife, too. Number 15. His duplex might be sold for $500 million. Some estates are really good investments. For example, Bill Ackman bought a $91 million duplex in New York City that might go on sale for five times its value. The 157 penthouse is now worth around $500 million. The apartment goes under the nickname The Mona Lisa because it's so rare and goes up in value very fast. Bill admitted he bought it as an investment, not for long-term staying. He's more focused on buying stocks, not apartments. Would you buy this place, Alexers? Being a successful investor on Wall Street is not an easy job. How many of you invest your money in stocks, Alexers? Let us know in the comments below if you're investing. And since we talked about investments, of course we have another fact for you for investing your time with us. Here it is. Number 16. Ray Dalio runs the biggest hedge fund in the world. Although Bill Ackman's hedge fund is big and prosperous, it's not even in the top 10 funds in the world. The first place goes to the one and only Ray Dalio and Bridgewater Associates that spins over $169 billion. His fund serves institutional clients including pension funds, endowments, foundations, foreign governments, and central banks. 
Even though they both have similar upbringings and education, the numbers speak for themselves. Ray Dalio's fortune is 18 times larger than Bill Ackman's, and his fund has 100 times more money to invest. And that is why we recommend his book so damn much. If you go to alux.com slash free book, you can get Principles by Ray Dalio for free as an audiobook, thanks to our friends at Audible. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.